The government is calling out the National Reserves to help combat the recent surge in murders across the island. Prime Minister Andrew Holness announced today that members of the National Reserve will be used to bolster security presence in volatile communities. Now, Giovanni Dennis has the details. A sharp spike in multiple fatal shootings in recent months, including two triple murders in a 24-hour period and several other killings, have driven the government and the national security top brass to respond. This announcement from the Prime Minister today. We have decided that in order to support the JCF in their effort for a surge, that we will make a full call out of the National Reserves to augment the force presence that we have in communities all across Jamaica. Prime Minister Holness also disclosed that the security forces are increasing the number of special operations. We will be conducting even more dynamic operations right across Jamaica. And we are not only going to be focusing on prevention of murders and gang warfare, but even though this will be a muted Christmas season in terms of the, uh, the, the, the level of celebrations at Christmas, certainly we are still expecting that there will be significant commercial activity over and beyond what happened for the rest of the year. And so we are going to ensure that spaces in which commercial activity takes uh, place, that those spaces are also safe. In condemning the spate of killings, Mr. Holness suggested that there may be sections of the society deliberately triggering crime to stymie the government's crime strategies. It would appear that there is an emerging trend that once the criminals see that we are making progress, we are behind where we were last year in terms of murders, that there is almost a deliberate attempt to increase our numbers. We saw it the year before, we saw it uh, the year before that, and uh, we are seeing the same trend this year. The Prime Minister was speaking at the groundbreaking ceremony for the Mount Salem Police Station in St. James. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.